Hello and welcome guys, my name is Steve and today we're doing 5 Minute Friday where I share my software engineering experience with you. And today we're talking about 5 reasons why you should choose Go in 2020. So before I do that, whoa, what the hell happened? Who shut the light down? Hey, turn on the light again. I told you to turn on the light again. Hmm, what the hell happened? What's wrong with this finger? I haven't seen fire from my finger before. I'm wondering... What exactly happened with my capabilities? So let's try to do it like in movies, you know? Maybe I should activate my powers doing... Ooh! Rad! I haven't seen anything like that before. And I must tell you guys, the future looks so promising. And I wonder, what is the best programming language to choose in 2020? Is it Go or something else? That is a good question, my friends. And that's why we should find out in this video. So let's get back to our topic. So before I share my thoughts on why you should choose Go in 2020, let's go ahead and throw in five minutes on the clock. So I actually have already one year ever since I started to write Go and I gotta tell you, the first thing that attracted me to the language was productivity. Because the language is so productive and it's so easy to prototype, it's so easy to bring your idea to life and that's the first thing that made me choose the language. So to open up some parentheses about productivity and what do I mean by that is Go is a C-like language and that's why Go is productive because you don't need to know a new syntax. If you know C, it reads like C, it feels like C almost. And that's a nice to have when starting to learn a language of course, C-like is, is a must actually. So the Go team has put in a lot of effort to make the language easy to learn, easy to read and easy to write and thus the language is easy and simple in itself. And also speaking of productivity, I have to say that the language has a super powerful standard library and in my opinion I haven't seen a language before which has a decent standard library which you can do real world productive stuff with it. Because other languages have standard libraries and pretty much any language has a standard library but when you want to do something production ready with it you just can't you have to use a library or something like that with Go I can say from my own experience that the language and the standard library is production ready so you can just use the standard library to write production ready code without worrying too much about it because the Go team has put in a lot of effort to make it that easy to make it that capable and that's another reason to be productive you don't need to import some library you don't need to look for libraries in general because you can just do everything yourself with the standard library with a powerful standard library. So the next thing that attracted me so much when I started to learn and write Go was simplicity and that was actually the thing that attracted me the most and still attracts me the most and that's also the thing that blew my mind because I didn't understand it at first because I was looking at the language and I was like what the heck where is object-oriented programming where is functional programming where are all those things people talk about and you'll see that simplicity is over talked and Go because that's at the basis of the language and Go also has a weird way of showing you how simple things are supposed to look but in the end you realize that's how things were supposed to be a long time ago. So speaking of simplicity what I like about Go is the fact that it has a limited feature set so basically it has like what let me let me use my magic come on okay so basically it has like 25 words it only has 25 keywords so yeah so also speaking of simplicity, Go has limited data structures as opposed to other languages. And I was like, what? Go doesn't even have classes? Go only has functions and types? How am I supposed to write object-oriented programming here? Because I don't know, it just looks weird, you know? But at the end of the day, keep in mind, Go is simple. Go is always gonna try to be simple. Go doesn't take in proposals as easy. It always filtrates them, it always tries to push very hard on the community and it tries to keep the language clean so you could use the language to write programs to write solutions to your problems so the next reason why i advise you to choose go in 2020 is of course reliability and that is the reason number one why a lot of teams are switching to go so speaking of the reliability go is blazing fast it's a fast language it supports concurrency by default and has a beautiful model and go handles production ready servers by default and that's just so easy to do that it's a pain in the butt to do in other languages so it's just easy to pick up Go. So I was saying before that Go is a C-like language however Go differs from C a little bit and Go is a garbage collected language as opposed to C. So basically the garbage collector is taking care of that and you don't have a possibility to, to allocate or deallocate memory and you know have all those errors you have in C. 
So that's another good thing about Go. Also, when it comes to reliability, Go is a cross-platform language. Even though it runs in a binary, Go is still cross-platform language. You can compile it on your machine and you can run it everywhere. And also speaking of cross-platform and cross-platform binaries, you could just generate tons of binaries of Go. You know, just have your source code and you generate lots of binaries. Generate the binary for Linux, Windows, OS X, and all that stuff. So another thing I like about Go, and I think if I get frozen for like 20 years, it's gonna stay the same because of the philosophy of the language, is the fact that Go is robust. What do I mean by robust is it's super stable and it doesn't update so often. And if it updates, it doesn't have breaking changes, is 100% compatible with older versions of Go. So finally, the last reason why you should choose Go in 2020 is maturity, of course, because Go is finally mature in my opinion. Firstly, Go is baked and maintained by Google, which means Google is not going to give up on the language. Google is going to keep pushing the market. Google is going to keep updating the language and keep making it better. Speaking of maturity, as I said before, and I cannot stress it enough, Go has a super powerful standard library. And if you don't believe me, you can try tinkering with the language. You could try tinkering with the standard library and you'll see that you could do a lot of powerful things with it just with the standard library without using any libraries. Another thing that amazes me when it comes to maturity is the fact that Go has built-in package manager, testing framework, and a concurrency model. I mean, name a language who has all those for free. I mean, if you're getting into a language, you have to download a third-party package manager, you have to download in a library for managing your concurrency stuff, which plays in with threads in the background, you have to download in a framework for testing, and all that gets cumbersome, all that gets complicated, and Go has all of that for free, it has all of that built in. And also when it comes to maturity, when it comes to the language itself, I just wanted to say that the Google team has done a very good job when it comes to documentation, resources and all that stuff. And it's so easy to find them. It's so easy to learn from them. And I just wanted you to know that that's a big sign of maturity. So to encourage more of you to switch to Go in 2020, I just wanted you to know that Go also has a very big growing market. Now, depending on your location, the market may not be so big, just like in my case. For example, in my location, the market is not that big. We don't have that many jobs when it comes to Go, but the market is growing and the market is growing everywhere in the world. People are switching to Go, people are switching from dynamic languages like JavaScript, like PHP, and even from Java and C++. So basically Go is getting a big traction and Go's market is actually pretty big already. And that is good news because numbers are just growing and the Go community is getting bigger and bigger every day. All right, guys, that is pretty much it on this five minute Friday. And hopefully I convinced you, hopefully I made you think at least or consider Go in 2020. So if you haven't considered Go in 2020, at least make sure to give it a try and let me know in the comments below. So without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hell no. What's wrong with my finger again? <laughs>